Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I have you up there because this is a very large tripod and I thought that way you can get like a different angle of my desk. So this video is a work with me session. I did a live stream the other day where it was also like a work with me type video and I really liked it. I thought it was good. So I hope you enjoy this type of video. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Um, but that's what this video is for today because I don't know, I just haven't had really the stamina to start filming and I thought this was a good day just, you know, to chat and show you what I'm working on and also to give you, you know, a space where you can also work with me, especially if you work on your own. Sometimes, you know, we need motivation and I enjoy putting on videos in the background and just working to them. It's comforting, it's nice. So grab your stuff, whatever you're working on, and let's let's start working. So I'm actually working on a sketchbook. I've already dyed the fabric with the cyanotype. I did all that when we had some nice sunlight out and I used seaweed and shells and sand, diff or not seaweed, algae, different types of algae, different types of shells, and I absolutely loved it. I loved it. So I have the first cover here, and I'm just using cardboard as a base, and I'm gonna use nice cardboard, which I have in there, to do this which I'll cover next. First, I wanted to cover this side. So, as you can see, this is where I cut that piece out. And so I'm just gonna continue cutting there. So I did the measurements, I'm leaving a centimeter on all sides. be right there. And I have to say working on the sketchbook and working in my sketchbook, which I have in my yellow bag, has been such a source of joy, I must say. I, I did too much. I have really been enjoying it a lot. Makes me very happy. I really enjoy drawing ocean themed things. And I'm very glad that I still had this certain rotary cutter. Back when I wanted to learn how to sew, or relearn, and I was doing a lot of embroidery and I supposedly wanted to get into quilting, but that did not last long because I'm not a very patient person. But this cuts beautifully fabric. It's very old. I bought this in Germany and like another lifetime ago. And the fabric I'm using, I actually got at a thrift shop. It's an old sheet, cotton sheet. And you, it's better to use cotton or linen when doing cyanotypes on fabric. So that's one side, you only have a little bit on that one, but then there's more on this one. So that's nice. And the glue I'm using is just it's cheap action glue, but it's really good. It's tacky glue. 
and supposedly it's in a recycled bottle. 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 Oh, it's raining again. We had two nice sunny days. That was it. And another thing that I really want to do is stain the first canvas of the larger can canvases that I have. So that I'm no longer afraid of the white. Fabric scissors that I have are not good at all, so that's why I'm using this rotary cutter for the borders. And I'm not doing pockets in this one because I really don't want to sew. I really actually hate sewing. Don't like it. It's a useful skill. I wish I enjoyed it because I would probably really enjoy making clothing if I were someone that enjoyed sewing, but I don't. But my daughter likes sewing. The wind. That's one thing that I wish would stop. The wind. Been wanting to ride my bike more, but with this wind, it's like impossible. I like to start from the middle and then press down and outwards. That way you can see where more glue is needed and it's straight. Good. Very nice. Such a beautiful blue. All right. So now while that is drying, I am going to work on something else. I should actually grab the cardboard, so I'll be right back. I'm going to wash my hands and grab the cardboard.
Yeah. Is there anything in this one? A bit of blue. I don't know if I want blue though. It's almost empty. This one, I tend, no, empty. I tend to use this cardboard for a lot of crafting that I do in my classes, and I don't want this green. Let's see this one. Ooh, I think maybe turquoise. Even brown would be nice. I think brown. Purple, no. I think maybe brown. I'll use turquoise for a different one. I'm gonna do brown, so let's see how much I need. Oh, can I do it the other way? Yeah, this way fits better. Get more in there. There's one. Well, oops. Let's see if I can go without that bit. Let's see. Yep. I actually need to cut it down, measure how much of a space that is. Measure twice, cut once is the saying. So this is 19 by 15. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Probably get scissors this time. This is a very cruel joke. I just measured it, and those were the measurements, and now what's going on? Not funny. Well, that will just be re-glued.
Now this one fits better. Okay, so I need to let those remain glued. <sighs> okay. While I let those dry before sewing into them, I will pull out my sketchbook. I love painting in this sketchbook. I really do. Mm. 
I'm not done with these, but I also did the flamenco. And I found my gouache palette. So I need to grab some water and I can start painting. I think it's very important to just paint the pleasure. So,
Okay. My shoulders always get a bit tight whenever I'm like hyper focusing on whatever I'm painting. So I'm gonna let that dry. And I think now I can create some signatures and do the whole for the sketchbook. So I'm gonna move my palettes to the side because they're still wet. And I always like to let my palettes dry fully. I don't want mold to form on my watercolors. So far for base layers, looking fine. I still need to do the background. It feels very naked. Okay. So I bought some paper. Let me show you. I bought some paper from Jackson's. It is mixed media A3 paper, 250 gram. I actually misread when I bought the paper. I thought it was less than 250. But it's nice white paper. There are 20 sheets here. So I thought this would be good in a sketchbook. I mean, I, for, I was, to be completely honest, oops, to be completely honest, I was looking for cream paper. I did not find cream paper. So I think if I do half and then half again, that would be good. The nice thing is that you can use both sides and it's Jackson's paper, so it's not as expensive. But it seems to be really good quality. I mean, Jackson makes good quality stuff. And I want to tear the edges. I don't want them to be perfect. Signatures. Alright, this I'm going to sew them. So the 
just needs to be like right here, right here, right here, right here, good. Always be careful with your hands when doing this, with your fingers especially. Those are done, and now the signatures.
just wanted to make sure that I'm doing the stitches correctly. Was difficult with uh, with this needle. Yet it is always so. Oh, no. What did I do? Seriously, I did something wrong here. Ah. Uh. We will leave it as a loop for a pencil. So this is the final result of the sketchbook. It opens completely flat. That's lovely. I think I do want to have like something that you can tie it closed or something, but I'm really pleased really, really pleased with this sketchbook. Nice. I'll be fixing that somehow, I'll probably like glue it in here or something. Yeah, probably do that. Cover it with brown paper. Let's do that now. A little bit of brown paper, and I will just glue it into place like that.
So this is definitely not a sketchbook that I would sell. I just, oh God, I just wanted to have one for myself, and especially with like the glue here, I would never sell something like this. But for myself, to show it to others. Lovely, lovely. There's just something so, I don't know, it's just so satisfying to make your own sketchbook. And you get to pick the paper, and you get to pick how the cover is going to look like, and lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this longer work with me type video and you get to see, you know, how I can get frustrated and how I fix, fix mistakes and it's, it's like working alongside each other. So I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.